Here at Gundam Planet, we're all about adding cat ears to things because that's that's how you make things sell. You want to sell some headphones, you put cat ears on it. You want to sell some the uh, bear guys, apparently, you put cat ears on it. You want to sell Double O Quanta. Oh wait, that sells anyway, but we're gonna put cat ears on it anyway. So, uh, I'm here with the Shia Quanta from Build Fighters Try Island Wars, and since I'm always doing the Double O stuff, I figured I might as well do the Double O Build Fighters stuff also. And this thing, uh, the popularity just like absolutely shot through the roof for, for no reason whatsoever. We had to increase our pre-order. Everyone was just freaking out about it. So I want to see what it's all about. First thing it came in, I was very surprised. This is like a BB box size. This is like the Star Winning Gundam. So they crammed a lot in here. Um, very interesting. So, you know, maybe they should package more things like this because it's so efficient. So we have polycaps. This is a big sheet of polycaps. I don't really know why. Anyway, now we have stickers. This just looks like every double O Guanta, like it has those shiny things, like Exia for the side of the leg. So, you know, it looks like I know what I'm getting myself into. And I'm pretty sure this is actually exactly the high grade Quanta runner. So, um, you know, I think they, they uh, took some inspiration from the source material. We have the yellow for eyes and such. We have the best part of the whole thing. This. This is great blue. This is best blue, actually. The translucent effect parts is incredible. These are kind of like what's on the transient. Um, really excited to see how this looks. Like, like, just look at this in the light. It's so good. And then we have some white for the V-fin and the face parts. I really like these small runners instead of stickers. This green is also, like, absolutely St. Patrick's Day. Like, this is some shamrock green. And it's, it's really cool. You don't see this color. Uh, you know, in kits very much. You, you have a whole runner to this, and um, it, it's not like the, the Finiche with like the forest green or anything. It's its its own own unique entity. And then we have soft inner frame plastic. It's not like inner frame in the sense that IBO is, but um, looks like double O inner frame, and double O high grades are great. So if this is, if I'm just about to build the Quanta, except for with these cool blue parts, that's great. And like, you, you gotta be enthusiastic about that. And then you got the manual. What is, what is up with this girl? Like, what is going on with her? Like, they, ugh, they, I, I just don't like her, but the suit's cool. And, um, you can see, I guess it takes inspiration from the Quanta, the Transient, nice, uh, the end, I don't like that, and the Portin. So this would actually probably look really good next to the Portin with these colors, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna build this, and, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Well, here we are. I built the, our, the cat-eared, uh, double O thing, and you know, it comes no surprise to any of you that the the high grade build fighters meets double O suit was really good. It was just great. You you put it together and it goes together, and it's a fine build. It's it's not particularly interesting, especially if you've built the double O the high grade double O Quanta, because two of the runners, the inner frame and the A runner, completely identical. The things that are new are the effect parts, and all the green runners are new also. So those are those are the only things that are different from the, you know, the high grade Quanta. So if you built that, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. But for the rest of you, we're gonna go close up and talk about what, what makes up this little beast. So here she is, our little strange green and blue cat friend. We're gonna start with the accessories because they are uh, pretty pretty big. So first thing, we have this sword. I guess this is kind of similar to like the GN sword bits that are on the original Quanta, but it's just, you know, it's there, has an effect part, and it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, so she can hold hold that, and that's all. So that's good. And then the main weapon, of course, and also in this case gimmick, is this big thing. It's different from the original Quanta in several notable ways. One, the attachment to the back, and uh, the, the addition of these extra things over here, which articulate out kind of reminiscent of the Transient Gundam. So, you know, you get a little extra flair here. And then if you do that on both these sides, I didn't actually know this until I got to the last page of the instruction manual. What you can do is you can articulate this all the way to the back and fold this in so that it's directly behind her. And then you open this up and pull these effect parts out and you get a weird little, like, I guess it's like a thruster looking thing where like, I guess this is like booster mode. Um, so I, I guess it was designed to do that. I'm not really sure you need to do that. It seems almost like it, it's a little bit crowbarred in in this case, but it does look pretty cool if you have it like on an action base flying, maybe with 
you know, scramble gun them next to it or something, and they're like going places. Um, but but that's that's really the extent of the accessory. You you do get you know nice separation, and it, it looks very flared and, and just sharp. So that's pretty cool. But now to talk about the actual kit itself, we're just gonna get this out of here so that you can actually see it. Um, and then these also just kind of exist and can do that. So I guess those are some extra wings for you. Um, so so there you go. Now you may notice already some things are popping off, but it's because it is based on a slightly older kit, but it never really interferes with the experience, I will call it. So here, here we go. We're gonna start with the head, you know, you get all the way around. One thing I do wanna say, like, I don't know what's going on back here. Is this supposed to be eyes? Is it like cute little Tamagotchi eyes or something? Weird, anyway, head goes all the way around. And then shoulders, you get, you know, nice enough forward and back because it has that poly cap that swivels out. You get pretty nice, uh, it is a double joint, but it's inhibited by this because it's designed to lock into the original Quanta GN sword, which this doesn't come with. So that's a little unfortunate. Would have been kind of nice if they would have remolded the arms. What are you going to do? Torso goes very nice, very nicely around. You don't get any forward crunch really because it's just a, a single ball peg. Then you get legs, as always, excellent. All the way around, all the way up. You can get it kneeling, but the quantum never kneels, so you don't really need to do that. You get these really nice blue translucent parts with silver stickers behind it. Really glad they did it that way. Uh, I mentioned that was my one gripe with the 160th XE I built. They have the stickers on top, so that's not a problem. And then you get the really nice ankle swivel, so you can put it down and get it like all the way apart with its feet still on the ground. I always like when that's when that's there. So. As far as articulation goes, stellar, very sturdy. I, I do want to mention, because this was falling off before, these these blue things right here in the arm, those aren't actually like locked in there. They're only held in by this part that comes down from the forearm. So every once in a while those do fall off, but it's easy enough to put them back on. That it really didn't want me to, you know, didn't make me want to take marks off this. So yeah, that's, that's what you're getting, and it's pretty good. So in short, um, will it surprise you? No, but... Is that necessarily a bad thing in this case? Also, no. It's very sturdy, it's very poseable, it's very well articulated, and you know, it, it's the colors are stark enough in contrast that you're gonna get a pretty unique looking thing, even though if it is basically identical to a previous kit that came out as far as the build goes. So if you like Double O, if you like Build Fighters, if you for some reason like Shia, uh, go for it. You'll, you'll be happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can feel free to like the video if you liked it. You can comment on it. Let me know your impressions of this build, any other recent Build Fighters builds, any other 00 build. If you found a 00 build that you don't like, I would be very, very interested to hear about that because none of them are bad as far as I'm concerned. Um, thank you so much for, for, to Mars Sound for doing the tunes over the spinny bass shots. You can check out a link to his page in the SoundCloud. Check out our two, two related videos down here. You can surf our channel. We remember we have new reviews every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so check all those out. Uh, to stay informed and we will see you next time.